Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making a spring centerpiece. I used three of the 16 ounce glass mason jars, four pieces of wood from Dollar Tree, they're just about 12 inches, some tumbling tower blocks, you'll need 10 of them, a couple packages of eggs from Hobby Lobby, some twine, two things of fairy lights, these I get from Amazon, but you can use the Dollar Tree ones. Some florals and greenery. Cottage white, Parisian gray chalk paint. Wood glue and hot glue. First thing I did was took the tumbling tower blocks. I needed 10 of them and glued five of them together. Just putting some wood glue on the longer edge and then gluing them side to side and then setting them both aside. You'll need two sets of those. Next thing I did was took the four pieces of wood from Dollar Tree and just gave them a quick sanding. Next, I took the Parisian gray chalk paint and poured a little bit out in a little cup, poured some water in it to dilute it a little bit, mixed it up, and then spread it on the pieces of wood covering them entirely and I do this with the water so it makes it nice and thin and gives it more of like a stained look and I just did one coat on all of those and I used my heating tool to speed up the drying process and after I let the tumbling tower blocks dry for about half an hour I did the same thing with those, covering them with the watered down Parisian chalk paint and did one coat on those as well. And then I took just one of the mason jars and used the cottage white chalk paint and gave that two coats, making sure to dry it in between. So the other two mason jars, I just left how they were and I just painted one of them white. Next, I needed to make the little box to put the mason jars in. So I put some wood glue on the edge of one of them and some hot glue. And then I place that up against one of the other pieces of wood. So this will be the base or the bottom of the little box. And then I took another one of the pieces, put some more wood glue on the edge as well as hot glue. and then place that on the very edge of one of the pieces of wood lying flat on my desk. And then I took the tumbling tower blocks, just one of the sets, put some wood glue and hot glue on one of the sides and the bottom, and then place that on the side piece as well as the base. And then I did the same thing with the other set of tumbling blocks on the other end. Next, I need to put the last piece of wood and it'll go on this very edge right here. So you just do the wood glue and hot glue again. And I put some wood glue on the ends of the tumbling blocks that are exposed. So again, it sits on the base and then leans up against the tumbling tower blocks. And then once that was done, I took the mason jars and some of the twine, wrapped the twine around a couple times, and then just tied it in a little bow. And I did that on all three of those. Next, I took the fairy lights and put one set partially in one of the clear jars 
and then filled it in with some eggs, more fairy lights in the eggs, and I just kept going alternating, putting more of the fairy lights in so that it would be throughout the eggs. So I did that on the two clear ones. You can definitely use the Dollar Tree eggs or their lights for this. I just had these on hand. And then I took the florals and the greenery and just placed them in each of the jars. The florals and some of the greenery came from Dollar Tree and some of the greenery came from Joann's. And for the mason jar that was painted, I put a plastic bag bunched up in there and some rocks just to hold the flowers better. And just made sure to try to fill them all out pretty evenly. Once I had them all filled in, I took the little battery packs and just tucked them into the florals and the greenery. And then I just had to place them in the base. White one went in the center and the eggs on either end. And I just think this turned out so pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching.